Okay, so this video is going to be the case studies for contrasting population structures. So the two case studies here will be Bangkok versus the Gambia. So let's discuss Bangkok first. So Bangkok has a relatively kind of approaching aging population. And this has been caused because kind of from um, 1970 onwards, there's been a, a huge decline in birth rates as well as death rates too. Um, however, the decline in birth rates has contributed to a population which um, kind of does resemble an aging population. So in 1970, the National Ministry of Health provided 72% of the population with contraception until 1999. Moreover, there was post-World post War II stability, which led to more family planning from the government and more provision of health care from the government, leading to a fall in death rates and birth rates. Moreover, urbanization due to the economic development in um, Thailand or Bangkok over the past few decades has led to higher costs of raising children, higher costs of living, so this discourages people from having a large family. So what are the consequences of this type of population structure? Well, in 1999, the population was meant to be 64 million. However, it was only 51 million. So this is kind of a dangerous sign for the future of the population and the future of kind of the future consequences of this because an aging population can have kind of very damaging ramifications um, which will be discussed in another video which kind of discusses the policies used for an aging population. Okay, also it is below its 2.1 replacement rate. So the replacement rate is the um, amount of children needed to replace their parents um, in society. Uh, there's also more taxation of the elderly because of the more elderly populations and kind of um, possibly a smaller workforce due to a less useful population. There's also the encouragement of immigration um, to kind of fill the employment gaps in the economy. Okay, on the other hand, contrasting to this is the Gambia. So the Gambia has a very youthful population and this is because of kind of economic and social factors. So 75% of women are illiterate, which kind of gives a signal towards the role of women in society, suggesting that due to maybe a lack of women's emancipation and lack of women's education, their birth rates can be higher because women kind of don't have the knowledge of family planning, contraception, etc. Um, yeah, okay. And then one third of children die at birth. And because in a country like the Gambia, which is developing, children are seen as kind of economic assets, this is very crucial because it would lead to families kind of trying um, for more children um, because of the high death rates. They want to have more children to kind of um, see if they can have children that would survive essentially so they can be an economic asset to them. Moreover, there are religious norms um, and in the Gambia, the proportion of Muslim families tend to have more children, um, but this isn't the case for everyone, of course. Birth rate is 40 per 1,000 people, which is relatively high. There's a low life expectancy of 40 to 50 years. So that means, you know, there's less elderly in proportion to the youth of the population. So the population pyramid would be very triangular with a narrow top. Okay, so the consequences of this are that there's a lack of education because of course the strain on um, schooling facilities leading to three a ratio of 3,000 students to only 26 teachers. And this leads to unpaid work for the teachers where there have been cases of 12 hours of unpaid work for teachers in the Gambia. So what are some solutions to this issue? Well, Germany has invested in a forest scheme to provide employment in the Gambia. Canada has provided vaccines leading to a fall in the infant mortality rate, so the deaths of um, children or infants lower than the age of one has fallen. Futures, non-governmental organization, has provided cheap contraceptions and the growth rate fell from 4.2% um, to 3%. There's also there's also been a reduction of the taboo surrounding measles, so it's kind of this improvement of healthcare overall to kind of um, help lowering the birth rate in this country.